How to calculate the absolute magnitude of a star. So what we're going to do here is um, have a look at uh, another kind of question which comes up just about every year um, using this equation m equals little m plus 5 minus 5 log d to calculate the absolute magnitude of a star. Sometimes uh, your job might be to actually calculate the distance how far away the star is but we'll just we'll work out m this time and just to get to grips with the equation so a galaxy has an apparent magnitude of 14.5 and is 10 megaparsecs away from the earth calculate the galaxy's absolute magnitude use the formula m equals m plus 5 minus 5 log d where d is the distance in parsecs. So we'll start by looking at what some of these terms in the equation mean. Now some stars appear brighter than others. This is a constellation of Orion and just looking in there we see some very bright stars and some stars which are a lot dimmer. However, how bright they appear depends on, well, the apparent magnitude is how bright a star appears to be and that has the symbol little m and it depends on two things it depends on how bright the star actually is and how far away it is a very bright star may appear very dim if it's very far away and uh, a much dimmer star may appear very bright if it's closer to us so the absolute magnitude big m is a measure of how bright a star actually is and basically to get a value for big M what we do is we imagine if every single star was the same distance away from Earth and if they were the same distance away from Earth how bright would they appear to be and then it would be a fair test a bright star would appear bright and a, a dimmer star would appear dimmer so the absolute magnitude is how bright a star appears to be at a particular distance and that distance was chosen to be 10 parsecs now I'm not going to talk about uh, parallax here all you need to remember for the moment is that a parsec is about 3.2 light years and so 10 parsecs is about 32 light years so the absolute magnitude of a star is how bright it would appear to be if it were about 32 light years away from the Earth. So, if we know little m, which is how bright a star appears to be, and we know d, which is how far away it is in parsecs, then we can calculate big M, which is its absolute brightness. And we do that using this equation big M equals little m plus 5 minus 5 log d that's last bit of the equation is log to the base 10 of d now what on earth does that mean log to the base 10 of d it's actually quite simple if you look at this table here are some different distances in parsecs and there's the the value of log to the base 10 of that distance and in any question that you get at GCSE the distance will be a multiple of 10 it will be 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000 and hopefully looking at the table if the distance is 1000 then how many zeros do we have 1 2 3 so log to the base 10 of D is 3 if it's 100,000 there are 5 zeros so log to the base 10 of D is 5 Let's do an easy example to start with. A star which is known to be 10,000 parsecs away has an apparent magnitude of 12.4. Calculate its absolute magnitude. Using the equation here, bung in the numbers, we have big M equals 12.4 plus 5 minus 5 times 4. 
So that's 17.4 minus 20. Do it on the calculator. And we get m equals minus 2.6. Let's have a look at this now. It's a little bit trickier. A galaxy has an apparent magnitude of 14.5 and is 10 megaparsecs away from the Earth. Calculate its absolute magnitude now. 10 megaparsecs. What's a megaparsec? A megaparsec, a mega means a million. So the distance in parsecs is 10 million. So that's seven zeros. So log to the base 10 of D equals seven. And I can imagine that would have caught a few people out. So if it comes up as megaparsecs, remember mega is a million. Now we can just bung in the numbers. So big M equals little m, which is 14.5, plus 5, minus 5 times 7. So that's 19.5 minus 35, which is 15.5.